y'all, welcome back. It's Taryn with Legit Mom Life and I'm just getting ready for my work day. So I'm about to do my hair and I thought I would just share a quick tutorial with you guys on how I'm gonna do that. Today I decided that I wanna do kind of a beachy, tussled, curl look. So I'm going to use my Lange Le Sink set. So this one is the Bubble Wand, which is really gonna give you those uneven textured curls, which is what you want when you're going for a beachy hair look. You want something that's inconsistent, so I'm gonna be using smaller sections along with some larger sections just to really shake that up that look and so that the curls aren't settling into each other. Um, so this is what I'm gonna use. So the Lysink set is a five piece set. It comes with five different wand attachments that you can use. So it's really cool. It's kind of five wands in one, um, but they're all tucked away in here and then it does come with a glove set. So this one is currently half off right now. So I'm gonna link um, a special link down below. That link will always take you to their current best prices. They're always having sales. They do sell a lot of things quickly. Um, so just keep that in mind when ordering. But this is a really a great set and I love that it's really five uh, wands in one. So it's really the best value if you're looking for a new wand. I'm also gonna be using the Lange uh, La Rev straightener. So this is a titanium straightener, which is great for hard to curl or hard to straighten hair. Um, so what's cool about this one is that it has infrared technology that you can see right there. So it's infrared technology that helps seal in your hair, protect your hair as you're styling it. And it also does have a heat control, which is great. So you can dial up or down on the heat um, setting there, which the same thing on the Lysink set. You can also um, dial up or down on the heat settings. So I did just get out of the shower and blow dry my hair. So what I've already done is I have used the Lange Glaze. Um, so this one is good to really just lock in shine and to smooth your hair. I do have um, naturally frizzy hair, especially with the humidity here, it does not help. Um, so it does reduce frizz. Um, it says for a radiant and touchable finish. And it does also have um, sunflower seed extract, um, which is also gonna help give you that shine and smoothness, which is exactly what I need. Um, I've also used the uh, Grand Debut Root Boost. And this one is, um, you use on wet hair. So I've gone in, what I did is I just sprayed down at the root all along the crown section and then flipped it to the opposite side that I style my hair typically and that's what's gonna help give you that lift. Um, if you're interested in a blow dry tutorial on how to get that lift at the root without using a round brush, let me know. Um, so before I get started, I am just going to use the uh, Thermal Magique and this is a heat protectant spray. And this one is for, it's good for heat and also humidity. Here in Texas, it is so humid. Um, so my problem that I have with, uh, the humidity is that my curls don't want to last anytime it's humid outside, which is typical. Um, but this is going to help, um, lock out that humidity and keep your curls lasting. So I'm just sectioning through my hair right now and spraying this. You always make sure you want, to, you always want to use a heat protectant on your hair, um, just to help prevent any extra and unneeded damage to your hair. Um, so what I do is I typically just section it off like that and make sure that I'm getting every little section um, protected. And then, so this one um, does go on pretty damp. So I recommend just, I usually kind of just comb it through and wait just a few minutes to make sure that it's all completely dry because we definitely don't want to start curling on wet hair. So make sure it's all totally worked in and dry before you get started. I also did go in with my dry shampoo um, right after I blow dried. So that is already in at the roots too, which also helps give you some extra added volume. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and section off my hair and we will get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with taking about like a one inch section. Um, and get started with that. And then I'm just going to wrap away from the face and I'll alternate back and forth um, and go all the way down the strand. And what's really cool though about um, this wand is that you are getting those inconsistent curls. You're gonna have some on the thinner part of the wand, some on the bigger part of the wand, and that's what's gonna really give you that naturally beachy, tussled look. So I'll go ahead and show you a few more sections 
like this and then I'll go ahead and speed it up so you can see the final look and how I style the very top of it. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video to see the entire style. Again, I'm just curling away from the face, going all the way about to the bottom. I leave just maybe like a half inch section out. Can you see how pretty those curls are? Not many brands have a bubble wand like this, so that's what I really like about this set is that it includes that. When you do wanna change up your look and do something a little bit more different and fun, you can get five different looks with this one set. So now I'm just gonna move on to the other side, again with like a one inch section and away from the face. This look I feel like takes a little bit longer than if you were to do, you know, like a curling iron or something like that. But what's really awesome is that because you're using all of these products beforehand, your style will really last you for like two to three days. That's usually what I get out of it. So day two and day three, I can just fill in with some dry shampoo as needed and then you're good to go. So, um, you know, don't think of styling your hair as like a huge time suck because really you can still have good hair and save time as well because then on the other mornings you're just literally restyling it as needed, throwing in some dry shampoo and then you're good to go. So basically from here, I'm just gonna do the same thing working up to about the crown of the head and then I'll show you how I'm gonna part my hair um, and finish off the look. So typically when I curl my hair, I kind of over curl it a little bit. That way it'll last me longer. Um, so at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth through them and kind of calm them down a little bit. But while you're curling, if you want some that are not as tight, as soon as you're done, just pull on them like that as you saw me do, and that will relax that curl a little bit more. Um, so now that I'm getting ready to do the top crown section, I'm gonna let that down, and then I'm gonna figure out where I want to part my hair. And I think today I'm just gonna do something kind of wherever it falls. That looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up this last section um, with the bubble wand and then I'll use my straightener a little bit just to smooth out those ends. Taking smaller sections still, and I'm just gonna wrap all the way around. So each time I'm curling it, I'm usually just letting it sit for maybe 10 to 15 seconds, so really not long. So in the top section, I'm gonna do everything away from my face, and then if you get it towards the root, um, as close as you can, if you're wanting more lift there, that is what's gonna help you get that lift and volume right at the root. Then for the section right around the front of my face, I never like those to be super curly. So these I'm gonna wrap and get a little further away from the root. And then I'm gonna wrap it and not hold it quite as long. And then we're going to pull. And I'm just gonna hold it for a second, just as it cools and that'll help it not be quite as curly as some of the others that you see. You see the difference? See how these curls are more flattened and straight and these are more tight. So really the thing about this is that you just have to play with it and see what you like. Don't 
ultimately this is all you need be your so i'm just pulling on that there to make that nice and more smooth how fun are these curls though aren't they so cool so this is what you get immediately when you're done using your bubble wand this is how they'll look okay so while i'm letting these curls cool i'm going to go in with my little rev straightener and just kind of get these ends just a little bit just to smooth them out and make them look a little less frizzy just a real quick pass. You don't need anything too long. But straightening the ends is also gonna give you that more PC and really beachy look. And then you can kind of just feel around your curls and once you feel like they're really fully cooled, then we can go in and tussle it all up. So I'm just running my fingers through all these curls just to really loosen them up. And then I'm gonna play with the top a little bit. I'll be everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real. Then if you want to tease a little bit at the root, you can certainly go in and do that. I'm just gonna do just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with my Lange. So this is the Tre Chic hairspray. And what's cool about um, this one is that you can get three different holds out of this. So you can turn the dial or turn the nozzle on the top and it will tell you light, medium, or a firm hold hairspray. Um, I'm gonna put it on like medium. And then I'm just gonna go in and spray right at the root where I did my back combing to get that extra lift. Hold it up for a second. All right, so then I'm just gonna go throughout and spray um, some of the hairspray just to hold it nice and good since I am gonna be trying to get a couple of days out of this style. All right, and then I'm just gonna finish with my, um, let's see, let's do some of the Miracle. This Lange. This is a high shine, lightweight and conditioning spray. So it's gonna just smooth out any frizziness and then also just give you like a really pretty shine. Then what you can do next, if you feel like you still wanna like smooth out any of the ends, I'm gonna use my Satin Nectar. So this is a nourishing gloss, also by Lange. And I'm just gonna do just a small amount and emulsify it in my fingertips really good. And then you can kind of just run it through just a little bit, even at your ends, just to kind of smooth everything out. All right, well that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this one using the bubble wand. And if you're looking to get one or the LaSync set yourself, check out those links below and get the special sale prices because they're not gonna last long. And also let me know down in the comments if you have a bubble wand or if you're interested in getting one or what maybe your favorite hair tool is because I am looking to do other beauty videos. Y'all always seem to enjoy those. So definitely comment below, like this video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye.